most wasps are not hunting us down for prey or are overly aggressive, but it's those few, I'm thinking of you, yellow jackets, that give wasps a bad rap. In this video, we will look at the good and the bad aspects of having wasps in our yards and gardens, and we will identify some common species and talk about if they are a pest or a benefit to humans. You may have been stung by a wasp, and that makes you think all wasps are aggressive. One category of wasps is called social wasps because they build nests and live in a colony, much as bees do. Social wasps have nest guards that protect the nest and the developing larvae inside. They are just protecting their homes and family. Cool fact, wasps can be trained. Not only that, they have been trained to find illegal drugs and explosives. Hi, I'm Amy, Master Gardener and Wildlife Rehabilitator. You can see my books in the description and please check out the community tab on my YouTube homepage. Your input matters. I always like to start off on a positive note. Let's rethink our relationship with wasps. They play a valuable part in our ecosystems and like bees are beneficial pollinators. Wasps are instrumental in pollinating figs. There are different species of wasps for their different species of figs. In addition, wasps eat a variety of insects that feed on plants as well as some totally gross bugs like cockroaches. Wasps help the plants by reducing their predators. If wasps were to disappear from the ecosystem, numerous plants would die, thus affecting the entire food chain. And you may be pleased to know, your friend the praying mantis eats wasps. Wasps actually display a wide range of behaviors and social structures. Courting dances, determined builders, and skilled hunters all describe the wasp. Wasps belong to the insect order Hymenoptera, which includes ants and bees. This group is broken down into several subcategories to better organize them. Hornets are a type of wasp. There are no hornets native to the United States. Our main hornet, the European hornet, is an invasive species that was introduced in the 1840s. These are young hornet pupae. The animal ref we refer to as the bald-faced hornet is actually in the paper wasp family and is closely related to yellow jackets. Like yellow jackets, they are very territorial and can become aggressive if they perce perceive their nest is in danger. Wasps are also put in groups by what type of nests they build and their social order. Social nest builders are several generations living and working together to care for the offspring. Yellow jackets and paper wasps are good examples. Nesting style says a lot about whether the wasp reacts aggressively. A social wasp lives cooperatively all together and they feel the need to protect the community, just like honeybees. Solitary wasps are an individual female who builds their own nest and takes care of their children. There are species of wasps that are non-aggressive and go about their daily lives with little human interaction. She places prey in each section of the nest where she lays an egg. Some solitary females stick around and feed the larvae and some do not. Wasps go through metamorphosis, just like butterflies and bees. They have four stages of development, egg, larvae, pupa, and adult. Male and female wasps mate and the female stores the sperm in a spermthea. Female wasps determine the sex of the offspring by giving or withholding sperm. If she adds sperm to an egg, it will develop into another female. 
This is called haploid, haplodiploid. Sorry, I could not get that word down. Eggs hatch within a few days. The larvae look like grubs and lack eyes and antenna. Their focus is to eat. They are in the larvae stage for about two weeks. Then they make a cocoon. Some stay in the cocoon through the winter and others come out after reaching pupation, typically about two weeks. When they emerge from the cocoon, they often stay in the nest as their exoskeleton hardens. Wasps and bees share many things in common. One big difference is that bees are vegetarians and feed on nectar, pollen, and fruit. Wasps are omnivores and feed on live prey as well as pollen. Check out my video on raising bees. Wasps eat a variety of insects and spiders. Different species of wasps eat different species of insects. So you may find several species of wasps in the same territory. Since they are not competing for food, they are not aggressive towards each other. For instance, the eastern cicada killer wasps not only eat just cicadas, they eat the very specific variety called the dog day cicada. You may have heard of trichogamma wasps or seen them for sale in the gardening store. They are widely used for biological control. The gardener buys the wasps and releases them in their garden to help control pests. Trichogamma wasps eat a variety of pests such as cabbage moth caterpillars, cutworms, coddling moth caterpillars, and hornworms. Wasps are diurnal and mostly active during the day. At night, they enter a state of torpor to rest. Females spend the night in the nest. Males are often regulated to finding a safe spot nearby. Wasps can wake up if disturbed, even during the dark of night. They will still react proactively if their nest is disrupted. Some common wasps include the black and yellow mud dauber. You have likely seen the nests of this wasp. They gather mud and make free-form mud dwellings on buildings or trees. The nests look like tubes placed side by side. The female is an incredibly hard and fast worker. She can build on a cylinder in two hours, making an average of 40 trips back and forth between the mud site and the nest location. These wasps can be quite irritating and scary as they often fly around homes and sheds. However, they are very non-aggressive and rarely sting. They feed on a variety of spiders, including orb spiders and jumping spiders. Another good wasp is the Eastern Cicada Killer Wasp. For farmers and gardeners, this wasp is considered a beneficial insect. They hunt and eat cicadas, which can damage crops and landscape plants. The cicada is up to twice the size of the wasp. Females often must stop and rest when bringing prey back to the nest site. The European paper wasp is an invasive species that has become very abundant since its introduction in 1978. Unfortunately, they are outcompeting native species. Their coloring is similar to a yellow jacket and they are often confused with them. This is helpful to the wasps as birds are less likely to eat them due to some species of yellow jackets being toxic. Paper wasps make nests by chewing up wood pulp and forming in the dimensions of the nest. They may also fix up an old nest from the previous year. They eat a wide variety of caterpillars. The four-banded sand wasp, you have to like this wasp for the sole reason that it's the main food that its main food source is the stink bug and i can like anything that eats stink bugs they also feast on squash bugs and assassin bugs the females build nests in sandy soil sometimes right next to each other 
forming a wasp community. The horse guard wasp. If you have horses, you want this wasp around your barnyard. Another type of sand wasp, this species feeds heavily on horse flies. In addition, they will hunt soldier flies and tachnid flies, which are, which are also pests to livestock. These wasps often hunt early in the morning before the flies warm up and become active. The smoky winged beetle bandit wasp. This wasp is a helpful species because they are a bioindicator. They prey on wood boring insects such as the emerald ash borer and the European oak borer. Scientists can watch the spread of these pests by monitoring the prey the female wasp brings to her nest. Regardless, even with all the good wasps do, it's not fun if one stings you. Call 911 or your doctor for immediate care if the sting is in the mouth, nose, or throat area, or any other si serious symptoms happen, such as breathing difficulty. In general, you should wash the area and apply a cold compress to reduce swelling. Take pain medication or an antihistamine. My go-to home remedy is to make a baking soda paste to put on stings and insect bites. Unlike honeybees, wasps can sting multiple times, so use caution, but appreciate their contribution to your garden and the environment. Yes, I am a nerd, and I did read this very cool wasp book when researching for this article and video. I will link it in the description. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a fabulous day.